Late summer, the next generation. Producing new queens and males. Close up of a bumblebee nest, showing wax cells and worker bees inside their colony structure. As summer progresses and the colony reaches its peak size of 50 to 400 individuals depending on species, something important changes. The queen begins laying unfertilized eggs that develop into males called drones, starts producing new queens called genes. These reproductive individuals have a different destiny than workers. The males and new queens leave the nest, mate with individuals from other colonies, and then the cycle begins again. The males live only a few weeks and can often be found sleeping on flowers in late summer. Autumn and winter, the great hibernation, preparing for winter. The newly mated queens face their greatest challenge, surviving winter. They feed heavily on late blooming flowers like asters and goldenrod to build up fat reserves. These energy stores must sustain them through six to nine months of hibernation. Finding the perfect winter home, queens search for ideal overwintering sites often choosing north-facing slopes that stay consistently cool.